All right. Uh, Uba, everybody. Uh, hey. 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 You like making great money, right? Here's a really cool opportunity I had to share with you. This always starts off like it's a drug deal. Like, hey, hey, man, you like making good money, right? Come on down the alley. You got a car and a driver's license? Driving with Uber. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> Uber's that popular smartphone. You know fucking Amazon sent me a fucking email, Nia? What do you mean? Saying they might cl- they're going to close my account by October 31st if I because I never filled out the thing that said I wasn't interacting or I wasn't trying to interact with people 13 years of age or lower. What? On my website. On my website, like I do the Amazon link. Like right. if you go to Amazon, if you just click the link yeah. and you go there, it doesn't cost you any money. But Amazon kicks me a little bit of money uh, for driving traffic to their site. Yes. And then I take 10% of that. Yes. And I throw it to... Uh, wounded Warriors. Not Wounded Warriors anymore because somebody told me that that was a little sketchy. Is okay. that sketchy? I have no idea. I don't know how to figure it out. But I found that St. Jude's is good. Well, I don't think we should, I'm fine with like I don't wounded think we should warriors. say wounded warriors is sketchy. Like. I don't know if they are, but I, I, I find I, like I feel like we shouldn't say that. I feel like wounded warriors. I want to walk up to the wounded guy <laughs> and give him the money directly because I just feel like with the infrastructure, give him an, give him an envelope. Like yeah, in the mafia. Why not? <clears throat> I, sure. If you're gonna locate all the wounded warriors and then personally, no. But I figured like them, whatever I'm gonna give what, these organizations. If whatever I give helps one guy, why don't yeah. I just or one woman? Why don't I just walk up to that one person? So there's no infrastructure. And how do you? I'll propose, pay. I'll pay the gas money. How do you propose I, that's gonna work, Bill? I got a you, podcast. I just said it. Okay, so everyone, so, will, so everyone's gonna to email to and like and claim to somebody be a wounded warrior, one. and then I'll have like a little like one of those game show things <laughs> with everybody's name in it, and I'll like fucking a crank bingo. it around like a bingo yeah. thing. <laughs> and I'll pull it out, and the winner is. <laughs> yeah, but they can't. And all the fucking money I'm given goes to you. But they can't prove that they're wounded by interacting with them on the internet. That's why you have wounded warriors and organizations like that. Like, because how are you gonna know? Are you going to, like, do a home visit and then look around and be like, hmm, all right, and then whip out your checkbook? You know, you really just took all the sunshine out of that, didn't you? Sorry. Anyways, um, so Amazon goes, you never filled out something that basically said that your website is not interacting with people under, like, 13 years of I don't know if they listened to the podcast and it was fucking, like, me saying cunt and all this stuff. And they're like, what about children? Um, oh, so people who don't like cursing? I don't know what it is. Would so now I got to not like Amazon. For yeah. So now they made me you? feel all creepy. Well, why don't you just say that you're not interacting with 13 year olds? Well, why don't they fucking ask me from the beginning and then not, not fucking come at me later? Like you never said that. It's like, dude, you never fucking asked me. What do you mean? I thought you said they did ask you. To no, me they just sent me a random email out of nowhere going. You never said this. It's like, dude, you never fucking asked me. Well, did you answer it? No, <laughs> I am until the 31st. <laughs> Fuck you. So what are we talking about? I'm talking about them not asking the question and then coming at me like I'm some sort of fucking weirdo. I think you're taking it a little too personally. It isn't personally. You don't have somebody on the internet go, are you, are you or are you not interacting with 13, aimed at 13 year olds? Yeah, it's fucking weird. Fuck you, Amazon, you fucking jerk offs. Are no. you? Oh, what are they going to do? Don't. Yeah, what are they going to do? I don't know. The webs, what are they going to do? Not send me boxes of <laughs> shit that I don't need? <laughs> Fucking assholes. You want to send your packages by drones? Huh? Do they really? Yeah, a bunch of toilet covers flying <laughs> past your fucking house. What? So they can save money? So they don't have to have some guy drive it? You know what? Fuck Amazon. And fuck the fucking link. All right, Uber, everybody. <laughs> You are never going to have another advertiser sponsor you again. You realize that, right? I don't do it because of that. That's true. You I do it for the fans, man. I do it because it's fun. If you're dumb enough to fucking advertise on my <laughs> podcast, just with my reading skills alone. I've already compared the Uber app to like fucking drug dealers. I don't give a shit. Yeah? I don't give a shit. I live within my means. I'm wearing tennis shorts. <laughs> A Nantucket. You're such a rebel. I, I drive an eight-year-old. You're eight year such old. a rebel, Bill. I drive an eight-year-old. In your tennis shorts on the island of Nantucket. Can you stop telling these maniacs where I am? Oh, sorry. That's one of the rules. You never tell them that. You just you, you leave them. Like, why is he wearing tennis shorts? <laughs> why would he be doing that? 
this guy's even weirder than I thought. I have to keep <laughs> listening. Once you go, oh, he's on fucking Nantucket. And then they go, oh, now it all makes sense. Now they're not listening. And Uber loses money. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys, you like making great money, right? Here's a really cool opportunity I evidently had to share with you. Driving with Uber. Uber's that popular smartphone app that connects riders with drivers. I take Uber a bunch. Did you know that, Nia? I love them, by the way. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Nothing I like better than get into a complete stranger's car that isn't regulated by any sort of government fucking entity. Hey, buddy, how are you? <laughs> Let's roll the dice again. Some of them have really interesting stories as to why they drive with Uber. I'm fucking broke, man. <laughs> I don't make enough money at my other job. Jesus Christ, is that interesting? They love being their own boss. Don't they work for Uber? They earn great money. Well, their cars are halfway decent. They must be invested in real estate. It's easy to start. <laughs> This happened because you're here. You just need a car and a license. Exactly. No other background check, is there? Driving with Uber. Got off on a murder, a technicality. Hey, welcome to Uber. Driving with Uber is great for anyone who needs flexibility. <laughs> Parents, this is a really easy way to work around your family schedule. Students, you can make some extra money between classes. Doesn't that sound filthy? Now's the prime time <laughs> to cash in with driving with Uber. You'll thank me for telling you how to get paid every week. I could be getting into your car when you drive with Uber. <laughs> Call to action. You got a car and a license. Put them both to work for you, uh, for you and start earning serious life-changing money today. Sign up to drive with Uber. Visit drivewithuber.com. That's drivewithuber.com. Drivewithuber.com. Huh?